Ladies and gentlemen, this is Spiral Knights in Practical with Ladders and Sclay. Why am I talking like this? Why does my picture not hold my sunglasses? What are we doing? Continuation of the last three episodes, incidentally on the exact same level. So if you missed that, you should totally check that out. You walked right into that one. That's completely your fault. Oh. Okay, well, that's damage taken for this... Uh, yeah, here, that's damage taken for this level immediately, in case that wasn't completely obvious. I think what we're going to do is just get out of here. This is the Spiral Knights, kind of the Wheel of Unfortune, uh, running the Tempered Caliber. I will show you in a couple of levels here what we're doing. Get out. Nope, that was just one hit. Caliber can hit up to three times, and there looked like there was a couple there, making it not a great choice, but it's definitely not bad in any respect. Especially if you can get a shocked enemy. An enemy that's standing still because of shock. And the fact that it has area of effect, basically. In a pinch, it works better than a bomb. I'm just trying to thin the hordes a little bit, because there's just too many people here for me to maneuver where I want to maneuver in a safe and consistent manner. The Catalyzer, the 4-star, the Violent, actually does more damage at the moment than does the Caliber, but the Caliber is easier to use, and I'm drifting over the key, because lag is a thing. Alright, so this is the, as I've said, the Wheel of, un of Unfortune. All that really means, oh look, exactly what I wanted. Christmas. Almost Christmas, it's not quite Thanksgiving yet. Oh, and I also start with an empty vial pool from last time, because I did have to reset, because I had to get to class and such. We're back. Same, oh, same day, same session, so that's cool. Ugh, this is just... Fine. Why am I... Oh, it's just lagging, because I just started up the game. This is the beginning of a play session, which means every time you do the first of any number of actions, you will lag like that because it's got to load in a lot of the resources. I think that one was loading in a heart. What do I want to get rid of? How about this to start? Because we want our high damage. I also want these prize boxes. And the rare chance that it might give me something I can use. That's a one star or a tier one file. So thanks. Thanks game, you're great. We also have the iron buckler and I cannot remember what our armor situation is. To be completely honest, we Black Cat Cal and Chaos that we rolled, I think is how it went. Why am I killing these, and where is the elevator? Oh, because I want my 2 Vita and my health kit. That's why, or my health capsule. That's totally why I just did that. There's the elevator. Poke. Nope, fine. Get out of here. Hmm. Yes, I'll take my one crown. Thanks very much. Oi! Okay, let's get on with this. Sorry I can't explain the concept right away. Anything? You gonna be worth it? You are so not worth it. Compound! So this, with this setup, this could kind of end badly, potentially. I am not changing. This was the first level of two. What we're doing is we're rolling a dice, and... Hey look, protobomb! We're rolling a dice. The first roll of the dice, we roll it eight times because I have eight slots available on my character. The first roll of the dice determines whether it's a sword, handgun, bomb, helmet, armor, shield, or trinket. And there are rules for that as I will go through as we need them. The second roll in each set uh, determines the star of the gear that I have. And so we rolled a couple episodes ago, for, or last episode for these, and I had to go. So we are returning and making a trek through the depths of tier two on this Vanaduke arcade stratum. Will we do tier 3? We will at some point, not in this session slash series uh, as it is right now, just because, and we switch every two, two levels, so this is the second level. I like how this grass is not cuttable, but other grass is cuttable. That just makes a world of sense to me. This is actually not a bad sword for this. Yes, load in all of your things. Not a, whoa, I'm moonwalking, okay. Not a bad sword, all things considered, because it does one-shot them, good, and the circular damage will definitely help. 
I'm not even going to. I will definitely for sure. Why am I like lagging a little bit? That's kind of odd. And taking damage. So we don't get a free reroll. Because if I don't take damage on the level, I get a free reroll. And it's completely my fault that I stopped. I realize that. Okay, my caliber's being kind of silly. I'll just take that and go. It's supposed to hit up to three times. I guess I was too far away. Iron Buckler, almost virtually useless in this situation. I don't know what that switch does. I'm not actually super familiar with this room setup. This lumber will be good for this charge, though. Because it will... Oh, just kidding. I was about to say, it would hit three... Ow! Oh, he's gone, so that's good. Maybe I can get this off? Nope. Well, I did get it off, and it looks like I stunned one of them, even. It's not even enough to reduce the number of swings I have to make with my sword. I had to hit him three times with full health or after a protobomb. That's why we don't bring protobombs into these levels. I just rolled it. I rolled a three for a bomb, and then a six, which is for zero star kind of stuff. So, only zero star bomb I have, of course, is the proto. I am happy for that health. Thank you. Happy to get through here as well. Freeze. The one status that I actually have... Uh, some resiliency. Okay, so stuff goes right through my shield now. That's also good to know. We can get out in time? Nope. Okay, well, that's a disappointment, but we got a little bit of health. Hopefully. Thank you. And we will get going. Yeah, my waste. I'm probably wasting a lot of time here. Anyways, Protobum, I don't feel like I need to talk to it, talk about it, because you're not going to be using it unless. Why would you be using it? get a better variant of it, i.e. the blast bombs are the extended forms of that. Kind of want to hit... There we go! That's the three hit on the zombies. You saw it hit three times instead of doing the knockback. That hit twice, and now I could be in trouble. If the zombie hits me first, I'm good. Alright, I'm good. I just want to kind of take him out because I've already started doing the damage. Ooh, I'm glad that didn't hit me either. Okay. And the rule of the game is, of the way I play, is if there's stuff on the ground to pick up, you gotta pick it up. This is how it is. We will not break the bushes if we can help it. As he says, as he breaks the bushes. Why am I fighting these guys? It's a very good question. I don't know. We should probably get going. I'll grab my dark shard, which is lying on the ground, and get going. Grave scarabs are the undead version of the mini, of course, dealing shadow damage, which I have some resistance to. They are unique in that they fly in a certain direction. I'm sure you've had the, your share of them since Apocrya, uh, the promotion that ended somewhat recently. And you damage every stone block once just to uh, make sure that it's not a rock jelly, because that would be cool. You just have to damage it once to find out. I do believe this is the worst. I don't like. I like the other room better. I don't like this. Okay, let's go. Oh, and it spawned a healer, too. Does that normally happen? I'm, I don't even know. I just don't like it. So they charge and then land. It's not usually a good idea to try and hit them in midair when they charge. And if you shield bump them off, they'll sometimes keep coming at you. So that's something to be aware of. Better to dodge and just get out of the way than it is to try and shield them through. The other variants, of course, being the dust bunnies, which have a dodging mechanic not unlike that of fiends. Uh, that like to dodge out of my way it seems and glop drops which are like mobile floor spikes so we will do this do that and do that oh boy get out okay protobomb uh, a lot of weapons that cause knockback will knock them out of flight if it doesn't kill them some of the other ones will not i don't think the the flourish and thorn blade versions actually knock them Ugh, out of flight Okay, I'm just, let's get, gotta hit the buttons to get the doors to open. Now that will close behind me, and we gotta go all the way around, and there should be a turret here. We'll run at it to get him to fire at me, and then finish him off perfectly. Okay, so I can, my shield, my iron buckler here can take one swing. Um, how do we want to do this? We actually, oh goodness, something else hit me besides him. Can we get out of the way of this scarab? Nope. Can we get out of the way of this lumber? Please? 
Hmm, a barrier to replace one of the barriers I have right now to do damage. Uh, while I'm running with the key, I feel like that's actually a good idea. So let's do that. We'll pick, pick it up and get going. Don't. Don't. No. I don't want to die on de de depth 10. Please. It's just silly. Yeah, that barrier kind of made me take another amount of damage. I will get at least one Sonic mode activated, which is simply where the game gives you just a little bit of health uh, remaining, and I don't think that's the activation of it. It might be that's the activation of it, so it left me with a little bit of health where it normally would have killed me otherwise. You noticed I had about 26% health, I believe, and then I took a hit from the Mecha Knight, and I went down to 13, so then I took another hit, but it left me with 3, because that's just what happens. No, no, no. No! I walked right into it. Yes, I have three health capsules. No, I'm too prideful to use them. There's nothing in here. Alright, we're just getting going. This is so much better than the uh, dust bunnies with fiends, though, because it'll spawn gorgos, and gorgos are the worst things ever. Um, I don't know what, sli what pairs with slimes that spawn, to be honest. But that's that. Okay, compounds. Awful. If this will count as our first level, no matter what it is, so if we get a treasure vault, it will just count, and we'll just go with the weapons we have, and then replace, re-roll for one level, one depth below this on the next one. And clockworks terminals and towns don't count either. That is a treasure vault, so we will just kind of not cut the grass even, because I just don't feel like it right now. Just go. Caliber, like I said, not a great thing, or not a bad sword. Not the best, but it is not a bad choice. If you're going to go for it, I would strongly recommend that you get the uh, Leviathan Blade, the five-star version, over the Cold Iron Vanquisher, which is the other variant, because if there's one thing that this game has enough of already, it's ways to kill undead, and you don't need another way. You don't need that damage bonus. Just grab a Brandish, for goodness sakes. I would not recommend Vanquisher over Leviathan. Whoops. I get the feeling that this is not actually faster. But I guess we're going with it. Grab your Leviathan. You also have your Lionheart Honor, which is... If you've got a Lionheart Honor blade, which is the promotion blade that we got for... Was it Guildhalls when Guildhalls first came out? I see you there. I saw you flash. Ooh, put that knockback though. Okay, fine, leave. If you got that and you don't have your Leviathan Blade already, might as well get your Vanquisher, but, you know, kind of not much point. I could have gone with this or the Honor Blade, and I just went with this because it was slightly more heated. Just grab the boxes and go and take you out because you're here. And you're bothering me. Oh. How did he not hit me? I'll, I will take that. I see you there too. You flashed. And... Yeah. I do not understand what the conditions are that makes enemies get knocked back and which ones make them take the three hits of damage. I do not know what the conditions are. Sometimes the minerals take... Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. I'd be curious to know. Oh, Spark of Life. Why, thank you. I've got some to make up. I spent about 30 Sparks of Life over the course of the Apocrya uh, promotion. I'm happy with this yellow, so I don't even know why I'm breaking crystals. There is no reason to. This is a huge. It is as tall as me. And actually, I will break some of these on this side, assuming there are enough. And warm fire crystals. Oh, so useful. Just to show something off, those are smalls. Smalls give you one towards your inventory. That is a large. A large gives you four. The one on my back is a huge, which gives eight. And that is a, this here is a medium, which gives two. So one, two, four, eight. So an exponential benefit. I got lucky with the button presses. Normally, the buttons that I press, um, it's usually the last one that has the buttons. Like, the very last one I'll break has it, but that worked in my favor, so I'll take it. And got that tempered caliber up, so might as well heat it to the next level, just for fun, because we did get a bunch of warm fire crystals. Oh, 
Unless warm is the... No, I have like 2,000 shining. It's shining is the three star, which is what the tempered caliber is, but I have plenty of those too. So we will move on, and I am glad to be able to reroll on this candlestick keep, actually, because, sorry, Steam making silly noises. So, let's heat our blade first, and then we'll pull up our dice. Tempered caliber, 2,969. Get me that forge prize box. Let's go. Yes. No. Okay. Anything else? Protobomb. All right. Nope. Just kidding. We learned last that there's no difference between these. This is kind of silly. Literally, it's the same thing no matter what you do. So why would you pay for three? Does it make a big deal because it applies to one and two star things? No, you shouldn't be heating those, but you know, whatever. All right. So I'm going to just go ahead and clear my character with this. Right, so eight slots. We got our dice here. And we'll roll it for a five. And so this will be one, two, three, four, five is how we do it. And so we go into our armor. We roll again. We get a three, so three star armor. And among our three star, we have a fused demo, which is not bound to me. Gunslinger and Quicksilver. Gunslinger, Quicksilver. I think we'll take Gunslinger, to be completely honest, because I get the feeling we get lots of guns, it seems. Five is another armor. If we get the same thing and we've already filled the slot, we will drop into trinkets. So we're in trinkets, and I rolled a three. So I guess we're going to get a... What do we want? Redwood bracelet over the Dewey Stone. Whetstone, I suppose. I'm not sure that's um, a big thing. All right, whatever. Two. There's our gun. So two is for guns. Four is a four-star gun. I'm extremely okay with this because I have a convenient gigawatt pulser here that I will absolutely take. So there we go. Again, four is for helmet, which is good. One. Not good. I'm going to take extreme amounts of damage here. If I don't get an armor helmet or shield filled, then I literally just don't take it. Like, there is no... Hmm. Not much point to these, are there? Not to any of them. So I guess we'll take the ignition, because it makes more sense than the amber brick. Oh, it's not even bound to me. Well, it is now. I need more weapons. Five. So five is the armor dropping down into another four-star trinket. I don't think I have many of these. In fact, I'm not sure I have any. I don't, so we're going to drop and pick up our other pendant. There we go. Well, at least we don't have to worry about fire. One is a sword. Thank you. Four is a four-star sword. I think I can be okay with that. I think I will live with an Avenger in a candlestick keep, and I am re-rolling for the next level because Treasure Vault was level one. This is level two. So we filled one, two, three, four, five, six slots, and we've got two more to go. Three is a bomb. Two is a two-star bomb. All right. Come on. Two-star bombs. What do I have? I don't remember. Ooh, load. Yes, load them all. Dark reprisal. That's all we got. So we're taking it. One more. Hopefully I get a shield. Hopefully. Six. Six. Please, three is a bomb. I cannot fill refill weapon slots, so here we go. I am happy with the weapons, these two weapons that I got. This is the only thing I'd be using anyways. And I don't plan on doing an extreme amount of fighting. Anyways, I am two-shotting, so that is good. What? Oh, I found the button on the first swing again. Oh, this is going to be awful. I can't shield cancel again. There's going to be a button down here. You can see on the mini-map, so we'll go ahead and this room will fill with zombies. I do like one-shotting, though. We're going to stay away. I'm trying to, like, I'm, expect I'm expecting to be able to back away quicker. But I can't because I'm still in my shield sword swing animation, and I can't cancel out of it, so. So, phooey. There is no point to shooting them with the pulser because I still have to hit them twice. Oh, if I hit them with three bullets, that helps. Okay. And we'll just test these just to make sure there's nothing here. 
the button was already pressed. Why was this button pressed, you may ask? Well, because these levels are made to be playable either way, where this is the entrance and where I came was the exit, or vice versa. So they gotta have ways to get in and out um, both ways. So one button will activate the other, and it's so that we can go both ways. Come in from either side and go out the other side. And there's a button on both sides exactly for that reason. All right, this is a room for fighting. Why not? Let's do this. Dark reprisal. Go. Be useful. Yeah, do that one damage, two damage. Probably something like that, probably. You two are standing together. I'll take it. Avenger, of course, being the four-star version of the Divine Avenger, one of the swords you can get um, from the Sealed Sword, which is one of the Jelly King rewards uh, using your jelly gems and it is a two swing with a combo or with a charge that combo that fires a single blade at three star it fires three blades the grand foss the other the shadow variant only fires one jump oh yeah he's gonna kill all the cats and I will totally be okay with that move I can't Shield cancel. This is hard. Oh, he killed the howitzer. All right, keep it up. Keep helping me. I need it. Of course, Trojans being fiends, so yeah, damage him. As a fiend, he is normal against. He takes the normal damage against elemental. I hit him in the back. That was great. Whoa. He is invincible in the front and can only take damage from behind takes the super effective damage from piercing and is resistant to shadow as is everything in this level they tend to coordinate themselves such okay health I can take health have I taken damage in this level yet yes absolutely I have okay so reroll chance not gonna happen probably never gonna happen hasn't happened yet Avenger, a nice sword. It's usually worth it to get it up to Divine Avenger. Avenger, the reason I've had this Avenger for so long and haven't gotten it is because I have other brandishes that I was heating too. And now that I've gotten those, it's probably worth investing in my Divine Avenger. Uh, it's just the fact that it's elemental damage and normal damage with no statuses. So I would take a Combustor or Voltage over it any day. Is the general four cats in this room that I'm not interested in. Or three zombies. There's the four cats. I've not seen the three zombies set up. I will blow these guys up with a bomb and then finish them though. Jump! I would be... Oh, look, it's health. Okay, then. I would be curious, what if you guys bound your dash and uh, and shield bash keys to? I have... Well, it, it's supposed to work for F. I was pressing... Oh, it's because I have no shield. Ha! Huh. That's, that explains why you can't shield that bash with no shield. Yeah, okay. Um, so you can't shield that with no shield, but I have mine bound to F, I play WSD, and then I have my third mouse button as dash, and so I just reach my finger up and hit that. Terminal doesn't count, we'll get into the next level before we... Um, oh, it's an arena. It's a beast arena, but it'll probably change because I'm talking to Basil, and that's just what happens. Blaze bland, brand, spike, ooh, spike shower you could potentially sell for a profit. But I'm not going to. Not this time. 